Athens. For the Olympic Games, the city is showing itself from its best and polished side. But little does the visitor or athlete know about the dark abysses hidden behind the perfect facade. In the country which prides itself to be the cradle of our Western culture, prostitution is a sensitive topic. There are close to 50,000 illegal prostitutes in Greece, which are not so much the problem. Greece is notorious for being a main distribution point for a worldwide active human trafficking mafia. The convenient geographical position of this country is abused to sell up to 70,000 women per year throughout Europe. We meet an insider who has been working in the Athens red light district for over 20 years. He knows the scene and he knows the human trafficking mafia. Years ago, he changed sides. Today, he cooperates with renowned organizations to help women who were forced into prostitution. I help really these girls because every night my work is I found information, and for this reason, you found me in Athens everywhere. If I listen something, one girl have a paper, one girl come before two days, three days, I try, I found the truth. And if it's possible, this girl won't help. And if it's possible for me, I, I make my movie and I take this girl because it's very difficult and very dangerous, this. Uh, I have one team and uh, we have made a lot. And uh, I believe some girls now it's much more good from before. Often a seemingly harmless job offer is the bait for these young girls. However, upon their arrival in Greece, their dreams of the Golden West turn into a nightmare. Being a pole dancer is a privilege for only a few. Soon after their arrival, they are forced into prostitution. The brutality of their pimps seems to be boundless. Twenty-two-year-old Marina from Moldova is one of many girls who was lured to Greece through a dubious job offer and was forced into prostitution. A woman from Moldova sold me and two other women to a man from Turkey. This man then brought us to the Turkish-Greek border, where we had to spend three nights in a forest. He threatened us with a gun in case we wanted to run away. In the forest, there was no possibility for us to wash, nor did we get anything to eat. After three nights, men came to bring us across the border by foot. We continued walking through the woods, and even had to cross rivers until we finally arrived in Greece. Here, it soon came to a handover. The Turkish men brought us to a car with Greeks, who brought us to their establishment. Only docile women are valuable capital for the traffickers. Our insider not only knows the transport routes, but also the fees that are being paid for these women by brothel owners on the international market. Listen to me. If the girl is pretty, we start from there. If the girl is pretty, it's 3,000 uh, euro. If uh, she know languages uh, a lot and uh, she won't make this work, uh, maybe 6,000. If she go to another country from Greece, uh, about 8,000. Uh, 
Uh, if this girl is not uh, very pretty, about uh, 3,000 here, 4,000 uh, in Germany, in uh, Holland, in France, in Austria. The Mafia earns billions of euros through human trafficking. If the girl is pretty, it's much more better for her. Because uh, one guy have this uh, young lady, uh, he knows, have uh, a lot of euro in head. And uh, try with smile, she make this work first. If not, after, and she have problem, and believe me, she make it, this work. Okay. If the girl is not pretty, and it's like uh, in 90 women in 100, uh, there is very bad. I don't believe one girl like this uh, tell to the boss, I don't go for work, or I don't want work, uh, she have big accident with boss and with bodyguards. I know girl, 10 men fighting all night because don't want, she don't want to go for work. This guy have another six, seven girls. And of course the other girls have shock about this. And of course go for work quickly. So it was a rape? Yes. Marina, like so many others, was beaten and raped by her captor. In the club, we were received by men who immediately threatened us. They told us, if you don't do what we tell you to do, we will kill you. There were two young women who had already been at the club before our arrival, and they confirmed that they believe that these men are truly capable of killing someone. The two girls also told us that the men beat them if they don't do what the men expect of them. The three of us who had arrived together were sold to another club within a few days. There were already seven girls in the club in Thessalonica when we arrived. The men sent us to work separately and did not let us go outside. Sometimes, when the men were drunk, they took their machine guns and shot into the air in order to scare us. Other young women have told me that the situation in Albania is especially brutal. The women there are constantly beaten and have to sleep in stables in the villages. The psychologist Irina Gionis works with human trafficking victims. Many of the young girls underwent a living hell. It is close to impossible for them to forget the countless rapes the cruel abuse and the severe psychological and physical injuries caused by their pimps and customers. Besides all of this, many are haunted by the fear of revenge against their families back home. For murder does not strike the conscience of a mafia pimp. <laughs> How I feel as a woman doing this job? Hmm. I try to understand in what sort of a situation these women are in. But, of course, it is very difficult. These women were kidnapped, have no rights, and are the property of someone else. We take them in our shelter and help them gain back their strength. But it isn't easy.
Every woman is different, and yet they all have many things in common. Especially the violence, both psychologically and physically, is something they all share. Wounds like theirs need a long time to heal. The first thing every human trafficker does, almost as if it were the law, is that he rapes his victim and utilizes floggings and beatings. After the principal initiation, all the women's stories develop individually. We want to know exactly how easy it is to get women in Greece for brutal sex games. Our insider arranges a meeting with a mafia pimp. For this reason, I tell you, it's uh, dangerous, this man. And uh, uh, before we go, I explain you, we are almost uh, very serious there. Uh, of course, you are my friend, and uh, you are tourist. You come, you see me. And be careful with uh, all of this, because after we have a uh, big problem. Believe me, he come with the guy. The truth is, we have guy, and you and me, we have back. But uh, I don't know if it's uh, something bad, what's happened after. For this reason, we are more serious, and we don't try. Just tell me what would happen when he sees the camera. To describe how dangerous this situation if, is. If uh, he sees the camera, we have a uh, very serious problem. Okay. Very serious problem, believe me. We can try to ask him for girls, maybe when we are looking for girls, uh, to beat them, to rape them, to, to make some extreme things with them as uh, with slaves. Of course, of course, we ask him for this and I believe he have I believe this he have they don't want to do it of course don't want these uh, girls don't stay at houses uh, like you and uh, mine she stay uh, all together in one <coughs> home one room and uh, two three guys be careful of these girls this girl is very pretty, but don't want to make this work. You understand me? Yes. On request, the man we are meeting would even sell us a woman. And this is a real mafia guy, yeah? 100%. And when we get in trouble, what, what do we want to do? Listen, if we have problem, you stay at the car, yeah. you don't make nothing, mm. you don't tell nothing, mm. you understand me? This yes. is serious. Yes. I explain and we see what happened with the words first. You understand me? You don't make nothing. You stay there. Yes. You don't try, you, you run. Be careful no. what I tell you. I stay in the car and I do what you say. A little later, the pimp gets into our car. Since he knows our insider very well, he doesn't waste any time and offers us 15 young girls for atrocious sex games. For a few extra euros, the price even includes severe injuries on his merchandise. For two days hospital, 1,000 uh, euro. But if you broke this girl in two pieces, after we have problem. In the strictly guarded shelter, the victims feel safe. Marina tries to overcome her pain and the psychological indignity she had to experience. I don't know how to describe the men's behaviour towards us. Their behaviour was atrocious. 
They treated us like whores, like animals. I don't know what to say, like animals, as if we were scum. I was lucky. I had the chance to escape. I made a report to the police, and with the information, I was able to get the bosses of the two bars I worked in arrested. In Greece, victims of human trafficking find very little help. Frequently, people don't believe their stories, or they are treated as criminals and are swiftly deported. Dr. Nikitas Kanakis, the head of the Athens main office of Médecins du Monde, is dedicated to his work, both on a social and political level. He manages the only shelter for trafficking victims in Athens and is appalled by the situation in his homeland. When I talk about the slave trade, I mean the slave trade like it was back in the 18th and 19th century, where humans are sold once, twice, three, sometimes even ten times, like commercial commodities. Of course, things have been modernized, so to speak, but broken down to the bare facts, it is trade, as with any commodity. Via Italy, the women are brought to countries like Germany or Austria, However, no country can be excluded. Sarcastically, one could say that the various mafias from the different countries cooperate to such perfection that our politicians could use it as an example of how to improve the cooperation within the European Union. The Greek Ministry of Public Order is trying to limit the damage. For years, the government ignored the problem. But with the Olympic Games, they are now trying to take action against the Mafia with harsh police operations. Regina Desfianotu, member of the Unit Against Human Trafficking, admits that the problem can only be solved through international cooperation. We are not at all satisfied, in the sense that we could say that we have solved the problem. Quite on the contrary, however, we are trying our best. At the moment, it is a huge problem and is categorized as the third top crime. It is very widespread and involves large sums of money. One has to say that the problem of illegal human trafficking is a phenomenon which is constantly evolving and changing. In other words, at the moment, prostitution and forced prostitution are the main results of this phenomenon. But in future, this could also change. And we are trying to do our best. The A little later.